Greetings and salutations, friends. I am the Wolf. I got my coffee. Today we are going to build the Ark from Transformers Generation 1. But before we get into it, let's take a look at what we have on the sprue. And on the sprue, we have all of the unique parts that we are going to need for this build. Starting with the Commander 500 Bridge from Hope Tech. The Hope Tech Companionway Fuselage A, B, C, and D. The Hope Tech Cargo Hall 2x3. And the Hope Tech Battle Stations 2x2. And these parts can be picked up at the Hope Tech Shipyard on Palvo in the Velo system. And then moving over here from the Stroud Eklund showroom on Voli, or Voli, however you say it, we have the Stroud living quarters 2x2. Two two. And the reason I use the Stroud instead of the Hope Tech here is because Hope Tech does not have a living quarters variant. So I went with the Stroud. Also at the Stroud Eklund showroom, I picked up the engine that I need which is the SAL6830 engine, and we are going to need five of those. Also from the Stroud Eklund showroom, I picked up the Fusor DC403 reactor. This can be found in a number of different places, but I usually just pick it up at Stroud when I'm there. And then from Parima, Parima 3 at the Red Mile, I picked up my scan jammer. And then lastly, we have our Nova Galactic NG-20 landing gears and those can be picked up on the Nova Galactic shipyard on New Homestead on Titan in the Soul System. And those are all of the unique parts we're going to need. So let's get rid of all of those and all of that as my camera goes wild here, sorry for that. And uh, let's get into this build. So. I'm going to start by laying out the general shape of this ship. So, and I'm going to do that, as always, by first establishing maximum length. So I have that. And then I'm going to come back here to the back, and I'm going to add two, three, four on this side, and four on this side. And that is maximum width. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add four this way and four this way and then starting up here at the front I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do a configuration kinda like that and then I'm gonna get rid of all of this and then same on this side like that and then delete all of this extraneous stuff and then I'm gonna add two here and two here so that I end up with a shape like this and that's where we start so now that I have the shape the general shape that I want I'm gonna get my engines they are a big uh, centerpiece to this build uh, very obvious and uh, before I get too far into it, I'm going to state right off the bat that um, what would look most consistent with the arc, the actual arc, would be these engines here. However, because they have a max power of three, uh, you would not be able to fit five of them, and you need five of them to imitate the look of the arc. Um, not to mention, they're not going to have as much power and thrust as the SAL engine um, so since these have more power and they have a max power of two we can use five of them and um, that's all of the speed and maneuver that excuse me sorry I can't speak once the mic is on the these engines are going to give us all of the speed and maneuverability that we need so I'm gonna get rid of that and then now that I have this basic layout done I'm gonna start adding my habitats right away and I'm gonna start with a Hope Tech uh, companion way and I'm gonna change it to a storeroom and this is gonna go back here I'm gonna delete this guy and he's gonna go right there 
and then I'm going to add my captain's quarters and that's gonna go right there and then on this side I'm gonna delete that come over here copy this I'm gonna change this to a companion way because that's gonna give us some internal components that are gonna look more like an actual storeroom and then over here on the starboard side I'm gonna add my 2x3 cargo haul so this is gonna be our cargo area here and while I'm here I'm going to just delete all of this that's gonna go away and that's gonna go away and I'm gonna add some of my structural pieces that I'm going to use so I'm going to come here and what I'm looking for is my uh, Deimos bumper which is here that's gonna go there and then I'm gonna flip this so that I get the uh, mid bumper that's gonna go there and then we'll select both of these and copy them and bring them over here and then flip you're gonna go there and then flip you're gonna go there there we go excellent so we have that and um, before I add too many more habs I'm gonna work a little bit more on the structure so that I know where to put my habitats so staying on the structure tab I'm gonna come down here to Stroud Eklund and I am looking for this guy here he's gonna go here and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be exceeding my length I think I need to come back by two and you're gonna go right there and then I'm gonna add some more structural pieces in here there is a method to my madness trust me you're gonna go away and I'm going to add you you're gonna go right there you're going away and I'm going to add you and then you guys are all going away oh wait hold on I messed that up let's go back here yeah I want to add you and then I want to get rid of you guys and then I'm going to do the same on this side so let's uh let's see let's cut nope hold on let's copy you flip there you go um, copy you there we go and then copy you and there you go there we go so now I have that front end structure established and I can finish adding my habitats so let's go to said habitats tab my habs tab and let's add the Hope Tech Battle Station 2x2. Two two. This guy is going to go right there. And to fill this spot in, we may as well go ahead and add um, some cargo here. Uh, let's add the storeroom. Let's put it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my other 2x2, two two, which is going to be the Stroud Eklund Living Quarters that I mentioned. You're going to go right here off of the captain's quarters. And then I'm going to add a Hope Tech engineering bay. You are going to go right there. And then I'm going to start adding my two by ones. And the first one is going to be the, let's see, control station. You're going to go right there. And then I'm going to copy you and I'm gonna have an infirmary you are gonna go there and then I want a science lab you are going to go there and that is my habitat layout so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my grab drive and we're gonna use the J52 gonna add the grav drive and then the reactor there we go and the grav drive is the j52 gamma grav drive with the max power of 11 and the grav jump thrust of 50 so we have that and now that we have this basic now that we have the midsection basically set up here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add the 
landing bay next. And that's going to be this MG6 the Nova, Nova Galactic. And you are going to go right under here, right there, so that you can go right up through the center of the ship. And then continuing up through the center of the ship, I'm going to add another storeroom. You're going to go right there. And there is a reason for that, which will become apparent eventually. But I'm going to go ahead and work on the belly of the ship, the underside, and add landing gears and cargo and stuff. So the cargo hold, I'm first of all going to use my favorite shielded cargo hold, and you're going to go right there, if you can see that. And then I'm going to add my favorite big cargo hold, and you are going to go, I think, that maybe you're going to go right there, if I remember correctly, right there or there, somewhere like that. Um, and then I'm going to add my landing gears. And so we're going to use the, the landing gears that I talked about, the Nova Galactic. And I want one landing gear there. And one there. And then I'm going to copy you and flip, flip. We're going to get that configuration there. And I think you're going to go here. And you are going to go here. Thank you, friend. I think that's right. And then I want to add one more landing gear, and that's going to be this Stroud Eklund. And I'm going to flip you. No, I'm not copy you. I'm going to flip you to the mid configuration, and you're going to go right there, I believe, is where I had you. And now that we have the landing gears, I have some fuel tanks I want to add. So I want you, where are my fuel tanks? Here we are. I'm gonna come down here to the H40 Atlas H3. And you will go there. And then we will flip and you will go there. Beautiful. And uh, now we can start adding some of the structural pieces under here. So I am going to come back up. I'm going to copy you, flip you, you're going to go there, and then let's go to my structures tab, back down to Stroud Eklund. I need, what do I need? I need this guy here, and we're going to flip you, okay, and then copy and copy and boom, just like that. And then I want another Stroud Eklund, I want you. And I'm going to, nope, not copy, please. Okay. Please, brain, I need you to work with me. You're going to go there, there, and there. And then, now that I have that, I want one other structural piece underneath here. And that is going to be my Stroud mid-bracer. You can go under here. So now let's start doing some copying and flipping and pasting. So flip, 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 Philadelphia, flip, 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 Philadelphia. Let's go here and here. Excelente. Um, let's take you and flip. Come on. There we go. And flip. Copy. No flip, just copy. Sorry. And then going to copy you up to here. And then I'm actually going to come over here, copy you, and flip, flip, uh, flip, there we go. So that you're going to go there, and then you, no, um, my brain, I'm, I'm, I'm on the underside of the ship now, so I got to think upside down and backwards, and it's throwing me off, so... So we're going right there with that kind of a thing so that we can actually fit under the ship and not get trapped and then we're going to copy the Stroud mid bracer and you are going to go there going to copy you again to go there you again to go there and then we're just going to copy a bunch of these Stroud mid bracers 
and I believe that this is going to take care of everything. I actually might have changed these around so that I had the mid bracer there and then I may have put the fuel tanks attached to the landing gear there. So to kind of break up the look back here so I don't just have a ton of these. I don't remember if I put the landing gear like if I moved this there and then the landing gear right on the back there. I may have done something like that. Just to kind of, so you don't have a bunch of the mid bracers all in a row, it kind of breaks up the look, creates visual interest. And that's kind of what I went with there. So it looks like the back, the, uh, sorry, the underside is done. So now we can start working on the top side. Oh, I want a docker. Uh, and that's gonna, you're gonna go away and I'm gonna add the docker. So let's find that. And it's gonna be my slim docker, which is my favorite docker. Flip that so it can go right under there, tucked in, nice and hidden. So that looks good. And now let's start working on the top. So let's copy and flip, flip, flip. There we go. Flip, 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 Philadelphia. There we go. And copy and boom. And there you go. And there you go. So now we have those guys. And then I'm going to copy you. And you are going to go right there. And then I'm going to need a bunch of mid bracers and other Stroud, Le uh, Stroud Leckland. <laughs> Super great. Uh, I just love how my mouth goes all fumbly once the mic is on. So let's find this guy. You are going to go here. And then let's find the mid bracer. And we will put you here. Before we get too far into this though I want to do something super sneaky and that is it's gonna be this guy right here we're gonna flip you to that and you are gonna go here and then I'm gonna copy and flip so that you can go right there looking like that and then copy copy flip 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 Philadelphia you're gonna go there and then, I think that's good. Uh, there's another Stroud Eklund structural piece I want to add, and that is going to be this gentleman here, and he is gonna go right there. And then flip, he is going to go right there. And then I'm gonna copy you, and I'm actually gonna flip you so that you have this extra attachment here with the orange stripe. You're gonna go there, because I'm gonna put a weapon there and then you're going there like that and then uh, same on the other side second verse same as the first copy and flip. there you go and copy and then there you go and then the rest is going to be all just mid bracer all of this is just gonna be Stroud Eklund mid bracer there we go, so far it's looking good. Now we need to add a bunch of other stuff. So let's, while I'm on the structures tab, I'm gonna come down here to Tayo, and I'm going to add this Tayo cowling, and then copy and flip to the aft configuration, put you there, and then I'll just select both of these and copy and paste there. And then I'm gonna go to my habitats my Habs tab, my Hab tab, and I am going to find this companionway fuselage from Hope Tech. And the fuselage A is going to go there. And then the B is going to go right here. And then the C is going to go here. And then the D is going to go yeah, and then uh, let's find our cockpit, which is actually this commander bridge, and you are going to go here. Yeah. Beautiful. Now I just need one other structural piece, 
and that is gonna be this little guy right here, the Deimos tail. He's gonna go right there. Beautiful, so far so good. It's really coming together. I need a couple of other structural pieces and that's these equipment plates here. You are gonna go there and then copy and you there and then copy and you there. Excellent, now I just need to add shields and weapons. So this guy, the shield, I'm gonna use my favorite shield as always, this Assurance SG-1800 with the max power of 12 and the strength of 1600 or the max health rather of 1600 and then I want there's an equipment I want the equipment tab the scan jammer and you my friend are gonna go right there and then I need weapons and so let's get my weapons tab and all the way down here to my favorite missile launcher and of course, as always, you can use whatever weapons you like. So I'm going to add two missile launchers like that. I'm going to add my favorite lasers. And let's see, one is going to go here, one here. And then I like to have four lasers. And I'm going to put you here and you here, there we go, and then I just want my Gauss gun and you, sir, you're going to go here and here. Come on. Thank you, sir. So far, so good. Um, I'm just, I'm missing something, probably a structural piece, because my credit balance is, this always happens to me, and I apologize for this. My credit balance is not zero, so I know there's something that I'm missing. Okay, I just remembered what structural pieces I'm missing. Let's see. And the, the structural piece that I'm missing is... Okay, right here. Um, it is this uh, Hope Tech nose. We're going to flip it to the aft configuration. And we're going to do one, two three, four, five. There we go. Now, there it is. There is the Ark in all of its glory. So, let's uh, exit out and I will show you... Oh, I have one error, and that is my weapons need to be assigned. So, weapon zero will be laser. Weapon one will be gauss gun. Weapon two will be missile launcher. There we go. There is the arc, friends. Now let's exit out and I will show you the color sliders. And here we are, friends. Here are the color sliders. To achieve this yellow-orange color, I place the hue slider about midway underneath the number one of the color one tab up there. And then saturation and brightness are turned all the way to the right. And that's it. That is the only color that you need for this beautiful ship. So let's exit out and take a tour of the interior. And one bit of constructive criticism that I had was that my interior tours go a little too fast. So I'll try to slow this down a little bit and take my time. So right away we come in, we land in the control station. And this is my first time, sorry for the voice crack there, I have a little bit of a cold, if I didn't mention. So we come right into the Hope Tech con uh, battle station, and uh, this is my first time using the Hope Tech habitats, and I am really impressed. I really like them a lot. Uh, continuing through, we come to the port side of the ship and this is the Hope Tech control station and this looks really nice and I did not add any portals or windows or whatever so that we have all of the parts and um, we can really have some nice immersive interior going on with all kinds of good equipment and 
knickknacks and stuff. Here at the far end of the ship we have that little storage area that I added. So we can pretend that we have some extra parts we need to effect repairs in the battle station. And then coming through this door here we have our infirmary with a research lab there and all kinds of immersive stuff going on. And then through this door we have the science lab which is lo looking really really cool. I love this Apollo little Apollo model here for anybody that's familiar with Apollo. I think that's a nice touch there. I like that it's not one of the random knickknacks that loads in but that it's here as part of the habitat all the time. And then we come into this cargo bay. I really love the look of this cargo bay. It's just so cool with the, you know, little pipes or whatever here to uh, rein in some of the cargo. And then here's that, uh, here's that little cargo bay or companion way rather that I added to the aft end of the cargo bay. And the reason I use the companion way is the companion way has more immersive cargo than the actual storeroom. So that's why I use that here. And then we'll come through here, continuing on through this really big 2x3 cargo bay. We'll come through here, and now we're into the engineer engineering bay, which I was really impressed by this Hope Tech engineering bay. There's our docker that we added. Some more little computer gadgets there. So this is really cool, really immersive. A lot of cool stuff going on. Into the Stroud Eklund living quarters, which I love. Let's give us a little bit of light here so we can see. We got that nice little bathroom. Some weights so that we don't lose muscle mass and space. Little uh, table there. Another little room here where we can chill out. Then coming through here, we have our captain's quarters which I'm happy to see that the Hope Tech Captain's Quarters also has the uh, comfortable looking bed that I like, which uh, I believe will load in some stuffed animals there. So that's really cool. I appreciate that. And then we have more es espresso machine with a caffeine poster. This is, I mean, you gotta love this, right? I mean, that's for that alone, you gotta love this uh, Captain's Quarters. Then we have our private little storeroom where the captain can store all of his action figures and video games and stuff. And then we'll come back through here really quickly. We'll just jog right back through here. Come all the way back through here. Back to the... I know this is kind of long to go through the ship like this, but I really appreciate it because I, I like the captain's quarters being tucked away so it's not easily accessed. And then we just come up through this storeroom here and into the fuselage. Unfortunately, the fuselage is... Uh, these fuselages... Is that the plural of fuselage? Anyway, they, they're they nice for the exterior look of the ship. They, they're in keeping with the look of the actual arc, but you know, unfortunately, they're just, you know, there's just not a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff, but I mean, there's some interesting stuff, so, I mean, that's not bad, but could be better. Hold on one second, gotta sneeze. Sorry for that. And then, finally, we come into the captain's, uh, I mean, the, uh, what do you call this thing? Cockpit? There we go. The bridge. There we go. Uh, neurons started firing again. So we come into the bridge and this is it's a small bridge but it's uh, really cool looking. has a lot of gadgets and immersive things to create a lot of visual interest. So that's it. That is the arc. So let's um, let's exit out and take a look at the 360 of this ship.
And there you have it, friends. There is the arc from Transformers Generation 1. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. And I look forward to seeing your own versions of this build in the Starfield Ships subreddit. Thank you for watching. Good luck and happy gaming. Bye bye. We have